As it is the last day of our spring themed month, we are going to make some spring inspired recipes all from Caitlin of From My Bowl. Caitlin has an awesome YouTube channel as well as a blog with so many delicious recipes on there. If you guys haven't checked her out before, I will leave all the links in the description box down below. And with that, let's get started with some lemon poppy seed muffins. We will start with 280 grams flour. Now I'm quite sensitive to the taste of both baking powder and baking soda. Usually I find that when I put them into like pancakes or waffles or even baked goods, I can usually taste it and it just, I don't really like it. So usually I would just leave it out, but in this case, I know that we do want these muffins to rise and I feel like the baking powder is gonna be essential. So I'm going to include this, but I'm gonna leave out the baking soda and I hope it doesn't affect the final texture too much because I think that I just won't enjoy the muffins if I include it ground flax, poppy seeds, and salt. For our wet ingredients, we need sugar. Instead of granulated sugar, I'm going to be using this maple syrup sugar, which is basically just maple syrup made into flakes, I think. And I'm using this instead of granulated sugar because it is slightly healthier. I mean, we're still talking sugar here, but supposedly maple syrup is a little bit better than cane sugar. But if you don't have this, you could probably also swap it for something like coconut sugar if you wanted, or just leave the recipe as is. Lemon zest. non-dairy milk, vegan yogurt, I'm using oat yogurt. And the last alteration we are going to make to this recipe is swapping the oil for unsweetened applesauce. Now, I do think this will probably affect the final texture of these muffins, but it is a healthier option than using oil. Of course, if you want guaranteed results, just follow the original recipe as Caitlin wrote it, but we are gonna test this out and see how it goes. Lemon juice and vanilla extract. They are a little bit dense and chewy. Now that could be because the mixture was very thick and so it took me a little while to thoroughly incorporate everything, which if you overmix batter, it can alter the texture of your baked goods. So it could be that. It also could be because I didn't include the baking soda. As I mentioned, I'm just very sensitive to it. So you could definitely try leaving that in. And also I think it's quite likely because I didn't use any oil or vegan butter. I swapped it for applesauce. That can definitely affect the final texture. But overall, the flavor is quite nice. They are actually very subtly sweet, probably because I swapped the cane sugar for maple syrup sugar. So if you want a regular amount of sweetness, just leave the original recipe as is. But overall, I do think they're pretty good. I think they will make a very nice breakfast muffin. We are going to start on the orzo salad. Now, orzo is made of wheat. It is basically the same as pasta. So if you are gluten-free or you don't want to use a wheat product, you could always change it out for another kind of grain. I think something like wild rice would be nice here. So I will leave some of those swap suggestions in the description box down below. So let's start with a cup of orzo and just add that to a pot of boiling water. I think with salad, it's pretty easy to swap in and out any kind of ingredients that you like. So instead of radish, I'm going to do red onion and I'm also gonna add a little bit of fresh spinach. I have some to use up and I also think it'll make a very nice green complement to this salad. So I'm just gonna throw it in when the orzo is done cooking. Once the orzo is almost finished cooking, we will add a cup of frozen peas and a couple handfuls of spinach. For our dressing, we will need a quarter cup of veggie broth, lemon zest, lemon juice, garlic, salt, and pepper. Don't be afraid to give your salad dressing a taste as you're making it. It's not like we're taking a whole drink of this. Just a little tiny taste to make sure your flavors are right and like to your tastes, your liking. Nice and lemony. I think it needs just a pinch of sweetness. I'm gonna add a little bit of maple syrup. So good, oh my gosh. 
And the last recipe we are going to make is a creamy white bean dip, I think kind of like a hummus with fresh spring herbs. Now, Kaylin recommends using ice water as the liquid in this hummus recipe. I am used to using aquafaba, which is the bean water left over in your can or the cooking water if you've made your beans from scratch. And I really do like using aquafaba as an ingredient in hummus because I feel like it gives the texture a nice light fluffy quality, but I'm going to try Caitlin's way today and see how the ice water works. We are gonna start with one can of white beans, garlic, tahini, lemon juice, and salt. Now the recipe also says you can swap out the herbs, so I am going to switch it up and use dill, parsley, basil, and chives. The fresh herbs in here are so delicious. Oh my gosh. This would even make a good salad dressing or sandwich spread. I actually think this dip and the salad were my favorites today, but everything honestly was so good. So if you haven't already, definitely go check out Caitlin's YouTube channel and her blog. And of course I will link everything in the description box down below. And with that, I'm gonna go eat the rest of that salad. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's eat plants and I will see you guys next time.